What's up guys, my name is Captain Dave and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 where last time we left off we discovered that we need the Reaper IFF, the friend or foe system before we can travel through the Omega 4 relay, a thing we discovered after the elusive man led us into a blatant trap above aboard the derelict uh, collector ship which has been following us for the last two years ever since it destroyed the first Normandy and then uh, again we met it again on Horizon don't worry, if he keeps on that way, that elusive man is definitely going to get a metaphorical boot from Shepard right up his butt. Or maybe a liter literal boot, I haven't quite decided yet. But either way, last time we left off, and we found out we had to do all that, but we decided we need to continue to build our team first because there are still plenty of things we need to do. We've got loyalty missions and we still need to recruit the Justicar Samara. So, we are going to get on and we're going to go do that. <laughs> but before we move on, bleeding Kelly Jamers in the last mission said that she would water my fish for me, or feed my fish, water my fish, what am I talking about? Feed my fish for me, the episode after they died. I mean, seriously, salt in the wound, Kelly. You, you just let fish die, you let them starve, and then you'll say you're going to feed them? Are you trying to make Shepard cry? He didn't cry when Ashley Williams died, but he nearly cried when he lost his fish. Luckily, he still has Chewie the hamster. <laughs> oh, I love Chewie. Me and him are going to be together forever. But anyway, I'm going to go around and I'm going to start mining for minerals and all that sort of jazz, which I'm sure is going to take me forever and a day to do. So I'm going to get ahead and I'm going to start doing all this. And unless anything interesting happens on the way, I'll see you when we are back again for the last time on Ilium to recruit the Justicar. Have you now, ED? Well, I was going along and I got to the planet Taedus. Maybe I should stop trying to say planet names because I can never quite get it right. Seems like ED has detected an anomaly. Hmm, service scans detect a YMIR heavy mech signature matching an unknown possibly pirate registration. Mech appears to be disabled, but broadcasting a looping message, message does not appear to be a distress signal. Resource scans indicate large quantities of minerals, resources, everything that basically Shepard wants. Alright, let's go in and see what see what we can get our grubby little hands on. I would say, oh, I better keep an eye on my fish since I'm going around mineral and all these planets. But oh yeah, they went and died because Kelly waited too long to actually offer to help them feed them. I'm never going to let her forget that. <laughs> Teammates, squad mates, all that can die, but you, you, you fish die and that's all. Oh, that's the end of it. But anyway, I'm going to take Fang because I haven't taken it yet. And I'm going to take Kasumi. Saying that they said there was going to be a mech down there. Maybe I should have taken someone with tech skill. <laughs> After I learnt the hard way with Kasumi and Zaid. Anyway, let's save those two points. I want to put it in Cindyary. Get your Drell Assassin maxed out. Maxed out, maxed out. Uh, weapon damage up to 50%. That's what we want. Drell Marksman. Uh, throw. To be honest, throw and warp. It doesn't really matter, to be, in all honesty. But since how I have the points to max out throw, I might as well do it. I mean, <laughs> hey ho, why not? It just works out perfectly. So you've got heavy throw that throws one target very far. Or you've got throw field, and when it's a squad mate, I'd rather have throw field. Knock back about three or four enemies at once, instead of just hitting that one guy really far. And the last point into warp. Okay, Kasumi, what have you got? Infiltrator and saboteur. So you've got weapon damage and power recharge time. See, now with Kasumi, I'm more thinking to do weapon damage, just because her abilities... I don't know, the, the ones I use, I don't use that often. Because Flashbang, I don't really use that much. The, she has that great one I use, but I don't use it that often. And let's do Power Recharge time. After all, Shepard kills most things anyway. Ah, Overload. That's good. So, let's, let's get your Shadow Strike maxed out, because I don't think I've ever done that before. So, it'll be quite interesting to see what that is. So, you've got Deadly or Rapid. Uh, deadly seems to increase the damage. And rapid uh, reduces cooldown by 80%. Hmm. Well, I've already done reduced cooldown with the infiltrator. So if I reduce cooldown here, 
No, it's increased the damage. I've already reduced the cooldown with a uh, Master Infiltrator, so... Yep, I'm happy with that. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Yep, happy with all their weapons. The Vindicator, Fane, Tempest, and... Uh, Tempest, and yes! Good to know, good to know. Shepard does love these heavy explosives. Alright, Thane, this level seems quite small. I don't think you're going to be really needing to use your sniper. So you go for the Tempest, and Kasumi, you go with the hand cannon, seeing as how... Change weapon! Seeing as how you're using the Tempest. And I'm happy with my old shotgun for now. Alright, let's move on. I paid Harrod good money for this useless heap of... <laughs> signal error! <laughs> Uh, detected serious caches of resources here on this planet, but memory leak detected. All right, I said sure. The leak the thing <laughs> leaks fuel like the Volus after a mug of Orion coal, but I can deal with that. So I took off and laid out a trail of power cells leading from where I uploaded the mech, so I could at least get the thing moving. And now won't even move. Damn swindling Elcor! Don't you dare talk about the Elcor like that. Well, the only thing to do really is get this thing up and running. <laughs> now, this guy had a potty mouth on him. I like him. Sounds just like me every time I pay <laughs> my BVR cuts out. Du -du -du. Oh, I forget which way around they were. That one, that one, that one, and that one. Let's do this. <laughs> I still wasn't too. I was still a bit uneasy when that thing stood up. It's a bit hard to get used to these things being on our side. Insert power cell. Boom, baby! <laughs> Heavy mech style. Alright, mech, you lead the way. Apparently, it led out a trail of power cells for us. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> Look at this guy go. He's like a robotic Hulk. See, wouldn't it be cool if you could have a heavy mech as your own squad mate? It'd be like Eevee on, <laughs> It'd be like Eevee on steroids. Now, if we could just attach some roller skates to this bad boy, we'd really get it moving. Power cells, pick up. Man, we said power cells. Maybe we should start getting some Jura cells. That little bunny rabbit's running <laughs> miles around you. And I suppose if you don't remember the little Jura cell bunny power cell advert, that joke probably went right over your head. Alright, well, you catch up. I'm going to go and uh, get ahead of you. You're taking far too long. What was that? Was that just like a, a glitch in the game or? Ready. Yes, I'm ready. Well, this is a perfect time, I think, for a... <laughs> I forgot his name then. Thane, to use his throw field. Let's see how wide that field is of yours. Oh, brilliant. Let's see if the incendiary ammo can finish them off for us. Oh, it did with one of them. <laughs> you don't run face first into someone with a shotgun, Baron. Come on, use your head. Sir, power cell. Oh, I haven't seen any power cells yet. What's the odds those Varen were sitting on it? Sound reasoning to me. Man, is it? Is this? heavy mech really worth doing all this? Can't we just like signal the Normandy to come down here? I mean this area looks big enough, the Normandy can sure fit down here or we could just like put it on top of the um, I forget the name of it, the car that we fly down here. I'm sure it's got enough gumption to lift this thing up. Get Grunt just to throw it up there for us. Jack and Miranda and Jacob can all use their biotic abilities, lift that bad boy up. Thane as well, he's got biotics. I think the four of them together can lift that bad boy up. Oh, and myself, of course. <laughs> Shepard, he's a vanguard, he's got them as well. The five of us working together, I bet we could lift it up onto the Normandy. 
Instead of doing all this bitch work, there's only so much I can, <laughs> so much crap I can talk before this mission just becomes boring. Come on, heavy mech, we're nearly there. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Do, 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 do. Come on, use the big guns. Pathetic little bullets aren't going to do this. Oh, maybe they are. I stand corrected. Uh oh, it's gonna blow! Really? So we came down here for nothing. God damn it. Oh, we found some resources though. 5,000 palladium. Or platinum. I didn't quite read which one that was. <laughs> Man, the way that mission went, it almost reminded me of how we used to have to mine stuff in ME1. Recovered buried cache of resources. Why am I are uh, mech unsalvageable? Yeah, no kidding. It blew up. Both guns at a time. Well, congratulations, Fane. The very first mission you actually come with us. And it, you don't really do anything. Hell, other than that throw field that I made you pull, you didn't do anything at all. <laughs> Looks like you're going to have an easy ride before you die. But anyway, I'm going to go carry on searching around, getting minerals and all that stuff, and unless anything interesting happens to come up again, and I use the word interesting very vaguely, I will see you on Ilium. I have detected an anomaly. Indeedy, indeedy, Surtur's moon. It's always on moons. Small planets always are rich with minerals, and moons always have ano anomalies. Seems like people- and I can never say that word. <laughs> Everything comes in threes, people. But it seems like people always want to set up bases and do naughty stuff on moons. So, let's find out what Edie has found. Okie dokie, planetary scans indicate that the Sinmara colony is vulnerable to its sun's hazardous solar flares. Mal malfunction detection in the colony's magnetic shield. Shield must be reactivated to avoid exposure colony to unstable solar activity and potential annihilation. Well, potential annihilation never sounds good. So, it's time out for Shepard to intervene. Shepard can do two things. He can either create <laughs> potential annihilation and you can also avoid it. It's called the Shepherd Effect, ladies and gentlemen. It appears it's called the Shepherd Effect, not the Shepherd and Squad Effect. We're doing this one solo. Oh wow, you wouldn't want to fall off this thing. <laughs> Even if you somehow survived the fall, you're not exactly going to be finding any help down there anytime soon. Explosive crates. I wouldn't be surprised if enemies appeared. Doubt they will though. Do do. Oh, they made that nice and easy for us. It's almost like they want us to pass this hat game. Okie dokie. Seems like by doing this, we're activating different terminals. So cooling unit, shield bypass, shield generate. So let's try the cooling unit first. Cooling unit up. Shield control, shield generator. Suppose we need a shield generator first. Now we've got it cooled. Yep. Oh, look at that. First time. Shepherd. Oh, see, it's the shepherd effect, ladies and gentlemen. It's 
you genius. See if they're going to make this one nice and easy for us like last time. No, this one seems a little bit more scattered. Restored magnetic shield keeping Sinmara Connolly safe from catastrophic solar activity. Credit reward transferred from Sinmara colonists. Oh, so I don't get to see how much I've got? Oh, there, there we go. See, look at that. Such a simple action and millions, or I can only assume, millions of people saved. But anyway, we're just over halfway through. Actually, no, we're quite a bit over halfway through searching this system. So I'm going to go back to... Hunting for minerals, and I'll be back with you hopefully on Ilium, unless something happens to crop up among the way, as it is tend to do.